guys. Have you missed me? Um, right, a few things. So, loads of people have been asking about different setups and stuff. So, I've got loads of this L-style stuff here. So, over the next day or two, uh, we'll be doing loads of different videos, having a bit of fun with the L-style setups, frying them differently, seeing how they fly, seeing all the different just everything they do. We've got loads of it here. So we're gonna go through it all and do a few short videos. We've also got loads more exciting stuff coming up. And very soon, I can't say anything right now, lips are completely sealed, but we've got some really special, special reviews coming up. So keep looking out for those as well. But anyway, let's get back to this L-style stuff and go and have a throw. All right then guys, so quickly before I put all these together and have a chuck with these and show you how they throw, I'll just show you the different ones that I've got here. These ones here in the middle are the Astra shaped flights. These ones here are the dimple ones and these are the fan tails. Um, quite a nice little flight. And then I will show you the green ones here. So these ones here are just simply called the slim and it pretty much explains why they're called the slim, because they're very slim. So I'll plonk them there. These green ones here, really peculiar shape, really, really thin, and they are called the bullet. Okay, next ones here, the yellow ones, these are the teardrop, um, very much like your traditional pear-shaped flight. And then we've also got these pink ones here, which are, very much like your standard kite ones, and obviously they're called kite. What else have we got here? We've got the blue standard dimple flights, which everyone went crazy for at the World Championships because they're the ones Peter Wright had in his darts. And what else have we got here? We've got the orange ones, and these are very much just the standard shape, the L3 shape it says written on there. These are basically exactly the same as your standards and we've got a black set of those as well. Those ones are the champagne ring ones. These ones have don't have the ring cut out in them. And then lastly, we've got just a few different uh, sets of uh, the stems, and these are, so we've got the L-style carbon stems here and here. These are the 330, uh, so they are basically very much uh, a medium length stem, and these ones are really short, the 130s. Uh, they retail for around about 15 quid a set, guys, so um, make sure you like them before you buy them. And then we've got these ones here, which are the L-style silence. These are a little bit cheaper. You can get those for about eight quid, so not a bad set to try. And then these ones are the cheaper ones, the LS370 in black, and they are five quid. Um, as for the flights, these are all about five quid a set as well, guys. So basically, if you are going to think about using the L-style stuff, you're looking really realistically at about 10 quid a go. So you want to make sure they're for you. But we'll put them together and we'll see how all the different shapes fly and we'll have a good throw of them. So I'll see you again in a minute. And then guys, so we put the first set together. We've gone for the 330 carbon ones, but these are actually the uh, spinny ones. So they spin a bit funky. And just the standard orange uh, flight. So we'll have a quick six darts with them and then we'll try and do a little bit something different and see if we can actually see how they fly through the air. Um, they sort of, because of the spinny thing, they sort of rattle when I throw them, which is a bit different, something I'm not used to. And another 60. Right, let's see how they fly through the air. Right, so a quick summary. Um, as you saw in the slow-mo video, they flew pretty much exactly like um, you'd expect them to fly, really. They flew really well, actually, very straight. 
Um, the spinny, if I was to change, if I was to use this setup, I'd probably not use the spinny stems, if I'm honest. Bearing in mind that there in my dart is 15 quid as well, is quite a bit pricey, but the flights, not even a mark on them, had a little throw with them. Um, the theory behind the spinny stems as well, I suppose, is if you've got one dart in there and it hits, it's gonna carry on going through because the, the, the flight will move because it's spinning. Um, all in all, I quite like those. They did seem to fly through the air quicker as well when I threw them. Um, which again, isn't a bad thing, because the quicker they get to the board, less chance they've got going off in a different direction. So, um, all in all, I quite like those. So, we'll try another setup. Cheers. This time, I'm gonna challenge myself a little bit. <laughs> We've gone for the 370 length stem and the very, very slim L-style flight. I do not know how this is gonna go, but this is gonna be fun. So we'll have a quick six again like last time, and then we'll show you how to fly through the air. Oh, 83. What have I been doing all these years? I should be using this. Right, let's see how they fly through the air. Right then, so a quick summary on these. Um, I threw it okay, actually. They kind of went roughly where I was aiming. They were hard to throw, though. I, I did find them hard. But again, that's probably because I've never used flights like this. I've seen a few people use flights like this, and they're very flat throwers. And it was quite interesting, because when I watched the slow-mo video, um, you see the dart, it almost went like that at one point, and then straightened up. So if you're kind of what I'd call a flat thrower, you're very direct and straight at it, um, perhaps you can keep that dart flying at that. And perhaps also, that's why you see some people when they actually land on the board, they lay down like that, a bit like the Taylor S stacking. Um, but one thing was they really flew really, really quickly through the air, a lot quicker than the other flights, the standard shaping, etc. So all in all, not bad there. This setup, we're talking about 10 quid. So it's a little bit cheaper and very much different. But if that's your sort of flight you like, you might like these. Right, we'll try another set. This time, on Shazam, we've gone for the extra short carbon stems and a set of pairs. Um, I'm gonna try the pairs with a few different length stems. I never throw anything this short. Tradition, like I say, me being the traditionist, medium stem, standard flight. So this couldn't be any more opposite to what I throw. So this is gonna be quite interesting. But again, I see loads of people with these setups and it amazes me how they throw them. But let's give it a go. Quick six. That's actually pretty good for me, I'll take that. Come on, one treble, Adam. I'm having one more, because I'm determined to get a ton here. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Not really sure what happened with that last one. Right, let's see how they fly through the air. I think I saw a quick summary on the uh, 
the uh, teardrop with the extra short stems in. Um, when I threw them, I don't know if you noticed in the video, but it's like this all the way through. And also when they got to the board, they stood very upright as well most of the time. Um, didn't fly to the board as quick as the slims. Um, should be about the same as the standard felt like. Um, I didn't actually mind them and you don't have to believe me because I doubt you will. But um, Lucy's on the naughty step at the minute because one of the throws I threw, I actually did get a 180 with these. And then she said, I'm not recording. But all in all, this set up here, 15 quid, guys. So make sure that you're really committed to it because, like I say, it's a few quid, isn't it? And you don't want just one set. You're going to need a couple. Um, the flights are pretty thick. They're pretty solid. Um, so they should do you a bit of time. But all in all, I actually quite like these. So that'll do for today. I've done three different setups. We've got loads more setups to do. Um, so what I'll do is I'll do three each day so you don't get too bored of me. Um, with two longer videos. All right, guys? So I'll see you tomorrow. Cheers, bye.